Hello world, and welcome to the podcast for educators passionate about computing and digital making. I'm Meg Wang, the editor of the Hello World magazine, and we're recording this in the exhibit hall of the Computer Science Teachers Association's annual conference, which this year is in Cleveland, Ohio. So come on, let's check it out. This is the second episode of our podcast mini-series, continuing the conversation that we started in the Hello World magazine. The latest issue, which is issue 27, is all about integrated computer science, also known as cross-curricular computer science. After the lovely feedback you gave us on our previous Teacher Tips episode, we thought we'd chat to teachers here at the CSDA conference to hear their top tips for how to integrate CS into your classroom. Teachers, over to you. So my name is Tiffany Jones. I am a computer science and cybersecurity teacher. I teach at Global Impact Academy in Fairburn, Georgia. Teacher of the year, I heard. Yes, I did get teacher of the year this past school year at my school. So I am teacher of the year for the 25-26 school year. Woo! Thank you. (laughs) So my top tip to help educators integrate CS into their lessons is to essentially look at data So let's say maybe you're in a science class and you're looking at maybe ocean health and you're looking at pollution. So you can look at different sensors that could be used, different microcontrollers that can be used to collect data, um, different environmental controls that can go to different physical computing devices to collect that data. You can look at different databases and platforms to help you analyze and visualize that data with also um, different programming languages. So I think by looking at it from a scientific aspect and then taking that computer science aspect and integrating it, you not only build that depth of knowledge in science, by bringing in computer science, you're essentially helping students understand how that content crosses over different disciplines, which is what happens in the real world every day and in business and industry. Hi, my name is JC Gordon. I am from Nashville, Tennessee. I am currently a K-5 STEAM and computer science teacher um, in Metro Nashville Public Schools. So my tip for other educators or future educators in integrating computer science into their classrooms is to not be scared of stepping outside the box. Um, Being that I am a dance educator first into a new realm of teaching computer science and STEAM for my first year, um, I've pulled everything that I know about arts integration and dance in general into my STEM, com, uh, STEM or STEAM compu- computer science classroom. And being that we use the language of dance, which is dance symbols, um, kind of similar how music educators have the treble clef, the quarter notes, half notes. We as dancers and dance educators have our own language that as a choreographer, I should be able to write to you as a dancer and you should be able to read it. Um, not most dancers or people know that we have those. So you have had to have it in your pedagogy classes and or take it as an extra you know, certification course. Um, and so teaching my third grade students about dance literacy, um, they were my coding babies. And so they learned how to program their partner as a robot and them the coder. In computer science, it's called an unplugged activity. So it's not necessarily done on the computer. Um, But so utilizing dance as an unplugged activity covers your standards for integration for computer science. But just being able to step outside that box and not fit into a code, if you will, um, to do something different. I I always charge anybody to try something different. I'm actually receiving uh, the Computer Science Teacher of Excellence Award for the 2025 for my dance coding in Computer Science Lab. Congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing. Wow, it's awesome. Pleasure to speak to you then. You as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa Wenzel, and I teach computer science at Montgomery County Public Schools at Argyle Middle School. So my top tip to helping teachers integrate CS into their lessons is figure out what you're passionate about go talk to a computer science teacher, and I guarantee you that they're gonna have something that you can do to teach coordinate planes or to teach colors in art, and it's gonna involve computer science. My name is Rebecca Muller, and I do a lot of consulting, but currently I'm working with Boot Up PD, I'm helping develop curriculum and training other teachers in computer science. 
my top tip of helping teachers integrate computer science into their classrooms would be to be thinking how to make it more interactive with your students. And I always tell them it's going to be the fun part of education that we, I feel like we've taken away from our students and it'll be something they're super excited about and, um, and they can make connections that they may not have thought of. And also it will connect certain students that that you might not have connected with before. My name is Rick Ballou. I'm a middle school computer science teacher or computer science and engineering teacher in Bloomington, Minnesota. I'm a big fan specifically of integration. Um, I do teach computer science. However, I do like to help the other teachers in my middle school building because we are technically a computer science integration school. So my big thing is showing them how to use more computer science in their English class or their social studies or whatever. My top tip to help teachers integrate computer science into their lesson is pick one of your favorite lessons you're already doing and figure out a way that you can in introduce computational thinking into it. Because chances are computational thinking is already a part of that lesson you're doing. Call it out to the students and that's going to help them to start understanding how computer science is baked into everything we do. So an example of ways of incorporating computer science into things that you already do is my former life, I was a band teacher. I taught beginning band and learning how to read a new piece of music is very similar to the steps in computational thinking. You've got to break it down, there's abstraction, you've got to figure out the sequencing and you create the way that you're going to learn it. And that is all part of computational thinking. I'm Bashonda and I teach computer science for middle school students in Decatur, Georgia. So my top tip for integrating CS in the classroom will probably be to keep an open mind and then always just to make sure that you are just using the Hello World magazine to find <laughs> to find different topics to with that. So yeah, that would be my top two. Big thanks to all those brilliant teachers who shared their top tips with us. And thank you so much to the teachers who stopped by the Raspberry Pi Foundation booth to hear more about what we do. We'd love to hear from you if you've got top tips for how to integrate CS into your classroom as well. So please send us an email at podcast at helloworld.cc. We'd love to hear from you. Next week, we'll be hearing about what AI education looks like around the world, where we will be joined by three global partners from the Raspberry Pi Foundation's Experience AI program, who not only cover three countries, but three continents. Did you know that the podcast is published as video on YouTube and Spotify, or as audio on your favorite streaming platforms? Subscribe to Hello World on our website, helloworld.cc, so that you never miss a release. Thanks, bye.